I don't want to insult any fans up there, but I'll never forget one time we wrestled up in Calgary, right? And Brett has everyone over to his house. He has all the boys to his house, which is really kind of him because a lot of guys don't want a bunch of wrestlers around their family. Mm-hmm. You know, cause it's like, no, this is where we draw the line. I want a bunch of jocks hanging around my house. And Brett had everybody to his house. And I got to admit, I, I'm just a different captain, Brett. I ain't saying I'm any better. I ain't saying I'm any worse. But Brett's house is a shrine to the hitman. I mean, there wasn't a room in Brett's house that didn't have a picture of him in his wrestling gear. I mean, above his Brett, brother, he was married back then to his, his lady he has babies with. And above his bed was a portrait of Brett in his, like, Sergeant Pepper jacket. Remember the pink <laughs> Sergeant Pepper jacket? With yeah. Like, yeah. Little bangles little tassel down things, the yeah. No, I ain't saying it wasn't cool. I'm just saying, but whoa, bro. Like, in your bed. <laughs> Are you ripping me? I mean, it was a shrine for the hitman. Now, I've always felt like I grew up doing jobs. You know, I got beat by dudes. I used to be 290, jacked up on steroids, doing jobs for dudes who were 60 and, you know, like with no teeth. You know, I was out there in Kansas City doing jobs for Rufusar Jones. And this is back when it wasn't sports entertainment. It was wrestling, and we still sold it as being real. Mm-hmm. I'd go in bars and people go, wait a minute. You do that rap, some stuff, man, that stuff's fake. And go, no, it didn't. Well, try me. They go, man, I saw that dude beat you. And I said, well, yeah, he beat me and I'll kill you. So think what he'd do to you. <laughs> so it was like a whole, I grew up knowing that this business is entertainment. I know it's a show. It's fake. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not saying we're not good athletes and we don't get hurt. I'm saying it's a show. And I never grew up, I always grew up, not being, we call it a mark. I'm not a, I'm not a mark for myself. You know what I mean? I'm not like, I, I have a gym out here by my pool where I got pictures of, of different people I've met on the road. And I got pictures of like me and, and I got pictures of click. You know, I got pictures of my buds, like in different parts of the world. Like I don't have, I don't have like big posters on me all around my house, stuff like that. Cause I think it's stupid. Like it ain't what I do. I mean, it's what I do. It's not who I am. You know, I'm not. It's, it's my it's my occupation. It's my love. It's my passion. But it's not. It's not. It doesn't define who I am. Mm-hmm. You know, it, I've been blessed to do it. But I always just. I'll never. I will never forget going to Brett's house because I was a big. I dug Brett. I walked in his house, and when I left his house, I didn't feel the same way about it. It's, I, mean, I don't know, man. I just. But I ain't knocking Brett. He came up different. He was second generation, all that kind of stuff. But I will never forget there wasn't any. He has a beautiful house into a pool, the whole deal, man. There wasn't a room in that house that didn't have a, a picture of him in his wrestling gear. Yeah. Now, I, some of- my house. I got a big ass house, too, and you won't find one picture of me. Yeah. I care. You find pictures of me with my buds, and pictures of me and my friends and my kids and stuff like that. You won't find me in my gear. Yeah. Do you have a poster of Brett in your room with with that jacket? Yeah, the Sergeant Pepper one. Sometimes when I beat off to it. <laughs> <laughs> good times. Good times.